In this morning's Digital Dive, this was by far one of the most talked about stories on our CARE 11 Facebook page with well over 500 comments and counting because, well, just take a look at this headline and see for yourself. A Minneapolis woman cycles topless to raise awareness that it's legal and she's not wrong. Helena Howard has been biking around Minneapolis topless for a while now because when it's hot out, she says women should be able to be topless like men because, quote, they're just nipples. Howard tells us she was cited for being topless on a beach about two years ago at a Minneapolis park. In the Minneapolis Park Board ordinance states, no person 10 years of age or older shall intentionally expose his or her own genitals, pubic area, buttocks, or female breasts below the top of the areola with less than a fully opaque covering in or upon any park or parkway. Now, in her research to fight this citation, she found that the state of Minnesota doesn't say it's illegal for a female to be topless. The state statute just defines indecent exposure as engaging in any open or gross lewdness or lascivious behavior or any public indecency. So with that knowledge, Howard has been biking topless outside, just steering clear of public parks. I just want people to know that it is legal and also make people think about why it's weird to them or why they think that it's not acceptable because I don't think it's all that different from a man being topless. I also want to fight the sexualization of breasts and female bodies and I think that it would be a safer place if female bodies could just exist without being objectified. So Howard is now organizing a way to show support for this movement. There's a topless bike ride this Sunday night that starts in Northeast Minneapolis. Details of that ride can be found with this story right now on carolevin.com. Now Howard tells us she of course has had a few negative comments, people that just quite don't understand her mission, uh, including some that were posted on our Carolevin Facebook page. Unfortunately, that's how it is online. But she does tell us the majority of people have been positive People who stop around the street usually ask questions and want to be involved in some way. Uh, so, yeah, Chris, Sunday night, there you go. At 6 o'clock, more details, care11.com. All right, we'll be waiting forward or looking forward to that, I guess. Right now.